Hello, and welcome to part three of the inflammation series from scholarlynurse.com. In this presentation, I will be going over some of the cell-derived inflammatory mediators. If you learned something new or come across something you like or found helpful, please like and subscribe. The objectives I will be going over in this presentation include understanding the effects of cell-derived inflammatory mediators, listing the major sentinel cells involved in the inflammatory response, and differentiating the types of cell-derived inflammatory mediators. Before getting into the specific inflammatory mediators, I'm going to talk a bit about sentinel cells. Sentinel cells refer to immune cells which can recognize pathogens or damaged cells. They are associated with certain antigen-presenting cells, also known as APCs, and APCs help make antigens recognizable to the T cells involved in adaptive immunity. APCs include mast cells, dendritic cells such as the longer Han cell seen here, and resident macrophages such as alveolar macrophages found in the lungs, cuffer cells of the liver, and so on. Sentinel cells are equipped with specialized receptors, sometimes referred to as pattern recognition receptors, abbreviated PRRs. One such PRR is the scavenger receptor which recognizes damage-associated molecular patterns, DAMPs for short. Another type of PRR found on sentinel cells is the toll-like receptor, which recognizes pathogen-associated molecular patterns, also known as PAMPs. One way to remember this is that pathogens are going to pay a toll for their invasion. Either of these receptors can initiate the release of inflammatory mediators leading to the inflammatory response. We are going to go over three types of cell-derived inflammatory mediators in this video. The first type is monoamines, which histamine falls into this category. Another type is eicosanoids, which include prostaglandins, thromboxane, and leukotrienes. And another type is cytokines, which includes interleukin-1 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. This is not an exhaustive list of all the cell-derived mediator types, but the ones we will be focusing on in this video. The monoamine inflammatory mediator histamine is released from mast cells and basophils in response to PAMPs and IgE antibody sensitization. And if you remember from the previous video that anaphylatoxins from the complement system degranulate the mast cells, that contributes to the histamine release, of course. Histamine causes vasodilation and increases vascular permeability. The vasodilation caused from histamine can result in lower blood pressure. Icosanoids are derived from the conversion of arachidonic acid. We'll be going over three types of icosanoid inflammatory mediators, which are prostaglandins, thromboxane, and leukotrienes. Prostaglandins sensitize pain receptors are potent vasodilators, which lead to erythema and heat at the inflammation site. And they're also pyrogens, meaning that they cause fever by stimulating the temperature regulation area of the hypothalamus. They directly increase the body's thermostatic set point. Tylenol works to reduce fever by inhibiting prostaglandin synthesis. The next eicosanoid inflammatory mediator is thromboxane, which is related to prostaglandins, abbreviated PGs here. Thromboxane and prostaglandin are also known as prostanoids. Thromboxane encourages platelet aggregation and causes blood clotting and vasoconstriction, which manifests as the pallor or paleness before the onset of vasodilation and erythema caused by other inflammatory mediators. The antiplatelet action of aspirin works by inhibiting the enzyme that synthesizes thromboxane precursors. The last eicosanoid group we will be going over is leukotrienes. Leukotrienes form SRSA, which is short for slow-reacting substance of anaphylaxis. SRSA constricts the bronchi smooth muscles in the lungs, which leads to airway narrowing. It also increases capillary permeability, which leads to airway edema. Leukotrienes are also potent chemoattractants for neutrophils. Cytokines are another group of cell-derived inflammatory mediators. The main cytokines involved in the inflammatory response are interleukin-1 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. They are largely secreted by macrophages and are chemotactic for other white blood cells due to their action on endothelial cells. 
They cause endothelial cells to release adhesion protein molecules known as selectins, which allows for the chemotaxis. This also sets up for healing and repair at the site of inflammation. The local effects of these cytokines include erythema, heat, and edema. Systemic effects of these cytokines include fever as they can travel to the brain and act as pyrogens, a left shift in white blood cell count due to increased chemotaxis of neutrophils. The phrase left shift specifically refers to an increase in the amount of immature neutrophils. Nausea and poor appetite, fatigue, and complement protein synthesis as they travel to the liver and stimulate it to produce mannose binding lectins, which in turn activate complement proteins in the bloodstream. So in review of the cell-derived inflammatory mediators, there is the monoamine histamine, which leads to vasodilation and increased permeability. Those in turn result in heat, redness, and edema. The eicosanoid thromboxane causes pallor due to vasoconstriction and platelet aggregation. Prostaglandins sensitize pain receptors, cause fever, and are potent vasodilators, which leads to erythema. Leukotrienes form SRSA, which results in airway narrowing and edema. And last but not least is the cytokines interleukin-1 and tumor necrosis factor alpha which have local clinical manifestations of erythema, heat, and edema. Their systemic effects include fever, left shift due to increased number of immature neutrophils, nausea, and fatigue. Thank you for watching, and please continue on to part four of the inflammation series from Scholarly Nurse, where I will be talking about the clinical manifestations of the inflammatory response. If you enjoyed this presentation, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or requests, please comment below. Have a great rest of your day.